Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your SD card for the X-Key 360 using Jungle Flasher. This is for the fat consoles. It works the same way with all consoles. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have Jungle Flasher open. Then you want to open your firmware that you got from the drive, the official firmware from the drive, which is, for this case, there's going to be the LightOn 0251, which is the most current LightOn firmware for drives that are connected to Xbox Live or that are most recently updated. So we're going to open that and click no here then you want to go to save drive key just hit save and it will automatically save it as key.bin let's go to that folder now you notice we got our key.bin file there and then we want to rename the firmware file that we got from the drive as firmware dot bin so the, we have these two uh, files here then we want to go to our SD card and we want to copy these over to the SD card. There they are. Now we want to go make sure we have the most recent version of X key firmware, which at this time is 1.03. Let's go ahead and extract files here. They're extracted. We want to copy the root FS and the U image folder uh, files over to the SD card. and there you go that's all you have to do now what you want to do is very important before you pull the drive out of before you pull the SD card out of your computer you want to go click on safely remove hard uh, hardware and then eject SD card okay. now it's safe to remove you can pull that out and put it in your X key 360 okay guys I'm going to show you how to install the X key into the Xbox 360 fat console we've already got the SD card set up so now let's just go ahead and set this stuff off to the side let's pull out the drive drives out set it to the side then first we want to go ahead and plug in our power cable etc and the SATA cable into the X key got that plugged in. We'll plug this one in as well. Like that. So it should look like this. And then we want to plug in the SATA cable and the power cable into the X key. So let's do that. Like that. That's the power cable, the SATA cable, goes the other way, sorry about that, that's plugged in, now let's go ahead and plug in the SATA cable into the DVD drive. Like that, the power cable can go ahead and be plugged in. Like that, make sure they're good and connected. Like that. So let's go ahead and flip the drive back around, kind of get it in place. Like that. And then we will flip the X key up. Let's see. Oh, put the power cable over. Hold up. Plug the power cable. Make sure it goes over the SATA. Like that. Test all our connections again. Make sure everything's plugged in good that way. So, let's get this in place. Then we can rotate the X key like so. the X key right here what I do is I just slide it in right there push that down then we will plug in our wire that connects to the control box like 
like that. Plug it into the control box. Like this. Maybe it was like that. Like that. Set that down right there. We're going to hook this up and I'll be right back to you once I get it hooked up. Okay guys, I've got the X key installed with the SD card set up properly. I've got it connected to the TV. Let's go ahead and turn on the console. Nice limited edition Gears of War 3 here. You know. Set that right there. And let's bring the X key over. I know you can't see it, so I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to select game and I'm hitting the middle button. It says that it's got one hard drive found. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to go to the Gears of War 3 ISO. First, I want to eject the tray. So now I want to select the ISO. It's reading, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. We'll remove the Gears of War 3. Go ahead and bring up the guide. And you should see that it says Gears of War 3. That's with the X key. There's the game. And yeah, Carolina Gamer, that's how to install your X-Key 360. It works great. I got mine from Mod Chips Direct. You can get yours from there as well. It's really quite easy to install. It works really good. I've not had any problems with it. I've been testing it pretty much the past couple days. You know, to make sure everything's good and, you know, I know everything about it. All the XG3 games works. XGD3 games, they all work. So, yeah, Carolina Gamer, out.